Chapter 9, Lesson 4, Changes in Dimension When the dimensions of a polygon are multiplied by some number x, then the perimeter of the polygon changes by that number times the perimeter. For example, the perimeter of figure A would be 4 plus 4 plus 6. 6 plus 4 gives us 10. 10 plus another 4 gives us 14. The perimeter of figure B would be 8 plus 8 plus 12. 12 plus 8 gives us 20. 20 plus 8 more gives us 28. If we notice, each side in figure A is twice the amount in figure B. So this side in figure B is 8, and this side in figure A is 4. So the one in figure B is two times greater than the one in figure A. This side is 4, and this side in figure B is 8. So that's also two times greater. The bottom of the triangle is 6 in figure A, and the bottom of the triangle is 12 in figure B. So that's also two times the size. So the dimensions of polygon A are multiplied by a factor of 2 to get to figure B. So the perimeter is also multiplied by 2 to get from figure A to figure B. When the side lengths of the parallelogram below are quadrupled, what effect would this have on the perimeter? So to be quadrupled, that means to be multiplied by 4. So if each side of the polygon was multiplied by 4, then the perimeter would also be multiplied by 4. So if we call this figure A, we have sides 2 and 3. If we had a figure B where the sides of the parallelogram are quadrupled, let's see what our perimeter would be. So this side, which is 2 inches, would be quadrupled or times 4 which would be 8. And this side, which is 3 inches, would also be quadrupled, or times 4, which gives us 12. So the perimeter of figure A is 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3, because this side is also 2, and this side is also 3. So this gives us 5 plus 5 which equals a perimeter of 10. This parallelogram, figure B, has perimeter 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 8, because this side would also be 12, and this side would also be 8. So this gives us 20 plus 20, which equals 40. So from the perimeter in figure A, which is 10, to the perimeter in figure B, which is 40, the perimeter quadrupled or is four times greater. Therefore, we can say that the perimeter would be four times greater. When the side lengths of the parallelogram below are tripled, what effect would this have on the perimeter? Try this one yourself to check for understanding.
when the dimensions of a polygon are multiplied by some number x, then the area of the polygon changes by x times x, or that number squared. For example, in figure A, we have an area of 6 times 3, which gives us 18. In figure B, we have an area of 12 times 6, which gives us an area of 72. The dimensions from figure A to figure B are 2 times greater, so 6 was multiplied by 2 to get 12, and 3 was multiplied by 2 to get 6. So because it's 2 times greater, the area from figure A to figure B is 2 squared times greater. 2 squared is equal to 4 times greater. So let's check if that's true. 18 times 4 gives us 32, and then 72. So 18 times 4 gives us 72. Example 2. The lengths of the rectangle below are multiplied by 6. What effect would this have on the area? So let's call this figure A. Our area is 5 times 2, which is 10. So if we had a figure B, figure B would have lengths that are multiplied by 6 from figure A. So 2 times 6 would give us 12. And 5 times 6 would give us 30. So figure B would have an area of 30 times 12. This gives us 360. So our sides increased by six times the amount, so the areas should have increased by six squared the amount. Six squared is equal to 36 times greater. So let's see if 10 times 36 gives us 360. So 10 times 36 gives us 360. So the area also increased by 6 squared the amount or 36 times the amount. So the area increased by 6 squared times the amount or 36 times the amount because 6 squared is equal to 36. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. The lengths of the triangle below are multiplied by 5. What effect would this have on the area?